It can be a challenge, especially as a beginner, to write quality JavaScript. So in this video, I'm going to share with you seven tips that will enable you to write cleaner and better code. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you my tips on writing better code. If you have a second, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. So let's dive in with the first tip, which is to use a linter. So if you don't know, uh, a linter is a program that basically picks up on a lot of the formatting issues that you have in your code. So mainly things like spaces and comments and things like that that you miss out in the code. And you plug it into your text editor. So if you're using something like Visual Studio Code, there's loads of different plugins that you can install which will lint your code. So when your linter is running in your text editor, you'll see bits of your code highlighted that need to be changed. So it might be things where you need to remove a blank line or add a blank line, but it can be more JavaScript language specific things like when to use let and const, for example, when declaring variables. So by using the linter, you can ensure that your code is conforming to the right standards and will be used by developers all over the world. Tip number two is to follow a style guide. So a style guide is, is kind of like a rule sheet or a kind of best practice guide to follow when writing your JavaScript code. And there's a few out there, but probably the most popular one is the Airbnb style guide. And if you have a look at the GitHub repository for Airbnb, you'll see all the different rules that they say you should follow in order for your code to be considered high quality, at least in Airbnb's eyes. So pick a style guide and follow the rules that it sets out. And if every developer that you're working with has the same style guide, then your code will all be of the same quality. Tip number three is to refactor your code. So if you haven't come across the term refactoring, it's basically just going back to some old code that you've written and changing it to do the same job, but maybe do it in a more efficient way. So you might have come across some old code, maybe it's using a for loop, for example, and you could replace that with something a bit more efficient, like a higher order function, like a find or a filter. So by refactoring that for loop to a, a different function, you've actually made your code a bit shorter and a bit cleaner and easier to read. And it's also going to be more maintainable in the future. Tip number four is to get other people to look at your code. So this has got to be absolutely one of the most critical things to do, especially if you're starting a job as a junior developer. You're going to get people that are actually looking at your code and criticizing it in a kind of constructive good way. So it's best as early as you can to start getting that feedback from other developers and just get someone to look at it and say what they think and kind of point out where it could be changed and improved. And you can find people online anywhere to help you with this so if you find some chat rooms or you can even find me on twitter and post me a link to your code and i'll be happy to have a look at it for you just get someone to look at it and give you some feedback tip number five is to look at other people's code So we said in the previous tip to get other people to review your code, but there's nothing stopping you from going out and looking at code online. So it could be in someone's GitHub repository or just something you've seen on Stack Overflow and actually look at that code and see how someone's done it. And it might give you some insight or some better ways that you could improve your own code in the future. Again, this is another critical part of being a junior developer is looking at other people's code and it'll help you to improve your own code by reviewing others. Tip number six is to write tests. So writing tests for most developers, including myself sometimes, is something we all put off. But if you actually write unit tests for your code uh, and actually get them to work and do something meaningful, then when you come to actually change your code in the future, it's gonna make sure that if you do change something that breaks the code, those tests will actually fail and flag up the problems for you. But not only that, when you actually start to write those tests and try and think about what data is going in and what should be coming out, you might find that the functions or the code that you've written isn't actually doing what it's supposed to do. It's likely you'll have to write tests with any junior developer job that you start working in. So get into the habit of writing them now and it'll improve your code quality going forward. So the final tip, tip number seven, is to keep learning. 
So one thing you'll never see on a junior developer job description is the ability to keep learning. But it's such an important part of the job to keep learning about new technologies, new ways of doing things. There's always new JavaScript frameworks coming out or new changes to those frameworks. So staying up to date with them and, and understanding the new features that are available to you to use in your code is really an important part of the job. So this final tip is really just saying go out and read blog posts, watch videos on YouTube, take courses if you can and improve your skills because the larger the skill set that you have the better the code quality that you can write. So there you go, 7 tips to help you write cleaner, better JavaScript. I hope you found something useful that you can take away and use in your next project and if you've got your own suggestion for writing better code just drop it in the comments below. Just before you go don't forget to subscribe to support the channel and for future video updates and I'll see you next time.